I'm real sorry about all this. I knew he was in trouble as soon as Barnes shot your daughter. Oh, hey, quit crying, she'll be fine. He's a lousy shot. Anyway, I'm real sorry about your dog. I mean, it did bite my leg, but I guess it wouldn't have done that if I had been beating you with a lamp. Hey, good news there. Lamp still works. Little duct tape, it'll be good as new. Those ropes too tight? Sorry, I'd loosen them, but we don't want you getting loose and trying to escape. There's been enough screw-ups tonight, don't you think? Guy you should be pissed at is your neighbor. F***er switched the house numbers. Must have known he was onto him. You want to know what this is about? Eh, what the hell? Ain't like you'll remember any of this tomorrow. See, a few months ago, there were some murders. Yeah, you read about them. Skinned alive. That's a bunch of bullshit right there. You ever skin somebody alive? They wriggle everywhere. Oh, now look what you've done. Never throw up when you're gagged. Here, let me clear your mouth. No, you scream. We're gonna have to break another finger. Okay, there you go. That's good. Right in the bucket. And now the gag goes back on. And you still got eight good fingers. See how that works? <laughs> just kidding about the fingers. I'd have just shoved the gag back on. You've suffered enough, you know. So, where was I? Oh yeah, skinning people alive. Hard as hell. That bit was made up by the papers. Sounds a hell of a lot more exciting. Nah, he cut their throats first, then skinned them. Anyway, 20 years back, there was another case kind of like this back east. There's a few folks who've talked about it, but they don't think there's a connection. On account, the guy there was caught. But check this out. The f***er said he needed to eat the skin to live. How does he end up dying? Malnutrition, even though he gets three meals a day. So we look into it and the guy had a kid who moved out here. Yeah, your neighbor. So we come in, do some checking up, and once we did, it came pretty clear he did it. Unfortunately, looks like he got wind of us and skipped out. And with a last, it'll screw you in the bargain. So we got guys tearing up his place to figure out where he went. Oh, we'll find him. Don't worry. He's sloppy. He'll screw up eventually. Anyway, get comfy. We got someone coming here who's gonna make you forget everything that happened. Tomorrow morning, this'll seem like it was just a botched robbery. We'll even set you up to look like a hero. Saved your family. How's that? By the way, how's rent around here? Seems like a nice neighborhood. End of file. To learn more about the SCP Foundation, subscribe to SCP Orientation today and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any of our videos.